At that point, I left and started Pulsa to really focus on inventory with sensors. Uh, and what I learned uh, with my experience was that with sensors, um, you had to be able to trust the data that you were getting from the sensor. Um, but the most important thing was that you needed to be able to make a conclusion from the data. And so the nice thing about inventory is that the conclusion is, is pretty straightforward. And so at Pulsa, we make connected sensors um, and software to communicate that data back to our customers. And what I'm showing on the left here is our web and mobile dashboards where you have real-time sensor readings every three minutes. Uh, we show history, a bunch of analytics. And then on the right side are a couple of the sensors that we actually manufacture um, that we design and build ourselves to measure inventory. Now, the type of inventory that we measure, obviously there's, you know, every company has a problem measuring inventory. We decided to focus on the industrial gas space, so things like oxygen, helium, hydrogen, um, and they're typically stored in these types of tanks. Uh, the red boxes show some of our sensors in use. The top left and top right boxes are uh, liquid level sensors, where we can tell the amount of liquid in the tank by measuring the pressure at the top and the bottom. Uh, and then the tank in the middle on the blue platform, that's actually a weight scale. And so we measure the weight of the liquid. And it was really important for us to be able to measure any type of inventory that our customers cared about. And so our customers are gas distributors. They own and roll their own trucks. They own the cylinders and tanks and typically rent them to their customers um, who are, you know, places like McDonald's, um, bars, uh, hospitals, refineries. Um, gas is really used kind of all over the place. Um, and their job is to drive trucks around and make sure that these tanks are full. Um, and historically, they've done this for decades blindly. They, they can't actually see the inventory levels. Um, and so it turns out if you can see the inventory levels, you can reduce a lot of truck stops.